When defeat comes, accept it as a signal that your plans are not sound. Rebuild those plans and set sail once more towards your coveted goal. Coach Gobe Songa had traveled to South Africa knowing that getting a victory was also important for the team and so he decided to go with an attacking formation that was the 4 to 4 formation. The goal with the 4 to 4 formation of a man that of a man that Cameroon was dominated in the midfield areas with Namibia's four midfielders. Cameroon faced problems in progressing possession from the back and that's why they resorted to long balls but the long balls often proved to be futile. Cameroon equally failed to attack spaces and the trade of a load on the wings which would have brought them multiple chances. But all of this wouldn't have been possible without the footballing brain of Benjamin Collins, who organized his team in a 4-4-2 and sometimes a 4-4-1-1, which enabled them to press so, so well and, of course, equally wait for counter-attacking opportunities because they had two players in front and so one player could always drop deep and collect the ball to connect with the player who was further. The statistics actually proved that coach Benjamin Collins was the better coach as Cameroon got 55% position while Namibia had just 45% position. But the most important part was Cameroon getting 10 shots with just 3 on target while Namibia had 7 shots with 6 on target which led to their 2 goals and Cameroon getting just 1. Like a raising dries up in the sun, it does seem Cameroon's glorious days of football are slowly drying up and the federation must do something as quickly as possible in order to reinvent the glorious days that Cameroonians once enjoyed.